and really want to see where it goes. But one thing I'm recognizing is that a lot of the people that are enthused about the AI creation does not understand, like, fundamentals of art. <laughs> and what I mean by that is not like, well, you have no talent in drawing, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I'm talking about things like giving credit where credit is due and why it is important to be giving credit where it's due. Um, and then there's a lot of like the politicking nature of like art itself is a reflection of the artist, hence the style. A style, however, is not the same as a genre, which is one another thing that I'm realizing that a lot of people that are in this industry does not understand. Like they don't understand the difference between a style of art and a genre of art. So let me give an example. Anime style quotation mark is not a real thing and you'll hear me rant about this like a couple of times when I have clients before when I'm like Listen, when you tell me what anime style that tells me nothing because there's no such thing as anime style If you look at my style, you can say this is anime style, right? But does every anime look like what I draw? Does it all look like this? No, it doesn't look like me <laughs> at all. Like if we pull up Let's say Iron Mouse or Nyaners like that sounds very different from mine. And we go into my chibi style, that's even different. So there is no such thing as anime style. We say anime style. Because <laughs> one, we're human beings that don't really understand the things we talk about half the time. But also because it's a much um, easier way to tell someone what we're talking about. Or like to speak to someone. But if we are going to talk about like the legality of things and being considerate of how things are influential or, infect or affecting, not infecting, that's a different word affecting others, then we have to understand what these terminologies actually mean. And so anime is not a style, it's a genre. So then what is a style? A style is an artist's interpretation. And what I mean is, let's go back to anime because we're all here for anime. Let's be real. We're here for anime. And anime genre so let's say i draw a chibi does every person's chibi look like my chibi no right <laughs> and so that's my interpretation of the anime genre and therefore this interpretation is my style so this is the kaisa style so that's a kaisa style of anime is, is what you can say but it's not an anime style <laughs> you know what i mean no anime shows look <laughs> put down the anime shows man some of them are pretty great you know and yes you're absolutely right Layla, shoujo chibi those are also subgenres, but they're not a specific style either style refers to a artist's interpretation inference to something so in this case it's to anime we can also have an artist's style um er, interpreting impressionism or modernism so if you look at, um, yeah, let me pull up some examples. There we go. There we go. Okay. Everyone see this clearly? Excellent. All right, everyone. Time to get knowledgeable with Kaisa. Okay. So this is Monet's, he's a, a impressionist artist, right? So this is Monet's painting. Everyone has probably seen these because <laughs> he's pretty famous as impressionist artist. Let's also look at another very famous impressionist art artist, Renoir. Hang on, let me actually maximize these paintings. Ooh, the National Galleries. Let's not go in. <laughs> Art lesson, yeah. I did take art lesson when I was a kid. Like I said, I started with traditional mediums the same way my parents <laughs> maybe take music lessons <laughs> as a child. <laughs> it's great. Rural conservatory, conserv conservatory really, you know, wears you down. <laughs> uh, that's a story for another day. Another day. Anyways, um, back to art. So this is... um. Renoir's painting. He's an impressionist and as you can see his uh, style and uh, let's also maximize Monet's and Monet's are very similar. They're both impressionism but 
if you look closely, if you examine closely, and we do this all the time with art, you can see that the brush strokes are slightly different, aren't they? And the way that he that uh, Monet brings about the feeling of water. So this is a water surface. And let's compare that with um, uh, Renoir's. You can even see like even that the way that oops sorry even the way that they paint is so different like the reflections the way that Monet reflects the water is not the same as Renoir's right and I could go into like the brush strokes uh, being more uh, was it uh, horizontal versus more vertical or blah 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 but like we don't need to go in that deep it's not that deep <laughs> my point is. Even within Impressionism, Impressionism isn't a style, it's a genre. The same way anime is not a style, it is a genre. And so a lot of people are arguing that like, <clears throat> well, you don't own a style, you know, like you, you don't own anime style. But the fact is, actually, people do own a style. They don't own anime style, but they do own their anime style. So for example, Kaiso's anime style, that's, that's my style. You know what I mean? And the reason why this wasn't a problem before is because there's no way to mimic. You know what I mean? Like, even if someone does use my uh, creations as a reference, what they create will not be exactly the same as what I create. Because the moment that they put their uh, paint or pencil or pen or whatever medium they're choosing to use, when the moment they start working on their project it has changed it has become something different and so for the longest time in the art world that was what's recognized right but something really interesting is the tech bros <laughs> they don't recognize this they don't understand this concept and so a lot of the times you'll hear them like well you don't own a particular style actually we do own our style we don't own the genre and this dis dif distinction this differentiation is really important because when they're using AI to, um, and this is really fascinating, I fucking love this because uh, a friend of mine is, um, uh, she herself is also an artist um, as a hobbyist, but she is very much in the tech world because she literally works with technology. Um, so we actually had a little discussion about this beforehand. And one of the very fascinating things is that the AI is not just regurgitating what it's given. It is taking um, uh, the styles and interpreting those styles in its own way. So when it creates something, it's not creating something that was from someone else that's regurgitated. It is creating something completely original. And... I find that to be a whole lot cooler than something that's just spitting out what someone else has made. However, this same AI, this same AI that can do all this cool shit is being used to spit out what other people have created. And this was the point of argument <laughs> that I was trying to get through, not to my best friend, but to this asshole of a friend. Like, I was trying to explain to him that like, yes, you have a very fancy, really cool toy right now. But this really fancy toy of yours is also uh, being used by people to do some shitty shitty things and that should be addressed, right? Like if you have um, like if you have a project, you have a creation that you've made, you want to make sure it's not being done to harm others. And yet his reaction to this, was to just like give me lip and be like, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. Like, what the fuck do I not now understand about art that you don't? Like, he he's not even an artist. <laughs> he's a hobbyist as best. Like, he has no stake in the art world. His livelihood is not in danger. And yet he's like, you know what? I know more than you. <laughs> <sighs> I was telling him about this was after the whole AI discussion like I was already kind of pissed at him because man his attitude was okay, here we go. okay so what happened was that um 
after after we had the discussion about AI, I went a little further to talk about copying and how copying in art is like there is a there is something called copyright. There is a legal um mm, I guess a safety net for artists is when they post things online or showcase the art anywhere because again, how you you know live as an artist is you showcase your art but in order to prevent your art from being stolen your art is immediately copyrighted the moment it is done so the moment is completed the artwork is yours and you don't need to apply for a copyright um uh verification like a certificate at all for it to be considered valid um the certification is just proof basically and this is actually kind of reason why I <laughs> I do my commissions um, uh, on stream is because this stream right now, this is showcasing proof that I did my work, that I put in hours of my work. You know what I mean? And so this is proof itself that I, I own this art. This, this belongs to me, right? Um, that's copyright. Um, apparently he has no understanding of this, but wants to say that like he has understanding of this because he has business experience and basically his take was like, oh yeah, uh, actually I can totally copy someone and get away with it. I'm like, what the fuck are you smoking? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, I was like, the fuck? No, that's not how copyright works. And he's like, yeah, it's called free use. I'm like, Free use is a legal defense stating that you acknowledge you have infringed on copyright. So you're basically admitting your guilt. But because of certain legal um, exceptions to this rule, uh, you will not be penalized. This does not... <laughs> I want to be very clear on this. This does not mean that you are free to use someone else's work however you want there are restrictions like there are exemptions like you guys know what fan fiction is right that's why you credit kaisa for stuff <gasps> yes thank you and anytime any of my creations get credited i always thank you guys for doing so because that is how my work spreads around that's how people know that i can do stuff um they see my work and they go oh okay this artist is taking commissions or this artist is doing this and that and that that's how i make a living <laughs> You know what I mean? So thank you, Layla, for being considerate to all the people that um uh, that are like Layla, who are considerate of the artists that puts in the work to create things. And, and I love creating things, but love creating things does not mean I shouldn't get paid or shouldn't get credited. Because his this guy, like this bratty asshole, <laughs> his entire argument was that, well, he doesn't want credit for things. I'm not kidding. This is actually what he said. His entire argument is that he doesn't need credit for things. He doesn't find it necessary to have credit for what he's done. Therefore, other people having to get credit for it, for the things that they do, means that they're doing it just for clout. And I was so pissed off at him. Like, he literally just called me a clout chaser because I want credit for the work that I do. And I'm just like, fuck this guy. Fuck him. Anyways, yeah, I wasn't going to talk about this, but like it was honestly on my mind for the longest time. And so, yeah, here's the story, everybody. <laughs> story time with Kaisa. I might have aid her for the model. Oh, I might have paid, paid her for the model, but still her, right? Yes. Yes. You and Zell both. Oh, my God. Like, I still... As a courtesy, I always let my clients know when, when I'm showcasing the models, like um, for Zell's fan art, um, because I, I do need a portfolio and stuff uh, to showcase on Ko-Fi, like what I can do. I let her know heads up, hey, I'm using your fan art or the fan art that uh, she won, that I made for her um, in the Ko-Fi. And her response was, yeah, it's, it's your work, you know? <laughs> I have the right to. I'm like, yes, thank you for acknowledging it. And yes, thank you for being, you know, not an asshole. And this is why I have, as my number one rule on terms of service, is I have the right to, to refuse service. 
<laughs> is because if I find someone that is going to give me this type of heck, I don't want to work for you. <laughs> I don't care if you pay me a thousand dollars. It is not worth, in my opinion, to work for someone that takes you for granted or it takes or even worse takes your work for granted like i don't i don't do this shit for free but should know that already <laughs> when you hired me 